Today we're going to learn about some, any, and no article. Some, any, and no article. We can use some, any, or no article for plural or uncountable nouns. They all mean something similar to a or an for a singular noun. For example, can we have banana? One banana, but any one is okay. Can I have some bananas? More than one banana, but any small group is okay. The difference between some and no article? Often, there isn't a big difference in meaning between no article and some. However, we use some when we are talking about a limited number or amount, but we don't know or we don't want to say exact the exact quantity. Some ideas or a certain number of or a certain amount of we don't use some if we're talking about something in general or thinking about it as a category when we use some we don't say the exact quantity but we couldn't probably find it out if we need to. For example, can you buy some milk? We don't know exactly how much, but I'm talking about certain amount of milk. I don't want all the milk in the world. On the other hand, we use no article when we aren't thinking about the quantity. It is used to talk about the noun as a category rather than a certain amount of it. We need milk to make pancakes. I'm thinking about the milk as a category. I'm not thinking about a certain amount of milk. More examples. We need to buy coffee. I'm talking about coffee as a category, not thinking about the amount. We would like some coffee. I mean, a certain amount of coffee, probably a cup. I eat some bread. I mean, a certain amount of bread. I ate bread, not pasta or rice. Remember that often it doesn't make a big difference. Do you want tea? I'm not thinking about the amount. Do you want some tea? I'm thinking about the amount, but the meaning is really the same as the first sentence. The difference between some and any. Generally, we use any in the same way as some when we think about a certain amount of number or something. Remember, usually both some and any can only be used with the plural countable nouns or uncountable nouns, but no, not usually with the singular countable nouns. We usually use some with the affirmative positive sentences and any with the negative in questions. For example, she bought some tomatoes, positive sentence. She didn't buy any tomatoes, negative sentence. 
Did she buy any tomatoes? Question. However, there are some exceptions to this. 1. Any can be used in a positive sentence to mean it is not important which one. When we use any in this way, it's most often used with the singular countable nouns. For example, you can take any bus. Pass me any glass. Come over any Sunday. Two, any can also be used in positive sentences that have a negative feeling. For example, if they include never, hardly, without. For example, she never eats any fruit. We hardly watch any television. Julia left the house without any money. 3. Some can be using questions when we expect that the answer will be yes. This is a very common in offers and requests. For example, would you like some coffee? Do you want some sandwiches? Could you give me some help? Could you pass me some sugar? Compare the following two sentences. Do you have any letters for me? This is a real question. I don't know if you have any letters or not. Do you have some letters for me? I think you do. So I'm expecting that you say yes. Which ones are the correct forms for each case? One, he has book. Two, she is traveling to countries. Three, he went there to buy bread. Or four, they are not going to buy fruit. The answers are 1. He has a book. Option C. She is traveling to some countries. Option A. 3. He went there to buy bread. Option D. No article. 4. They are not gonna buy any fruit. Option B. Explore the website of Canada Smart Mind. You can enjoy yourself learn English, French, and the Canadian immigration process. Check the links below. Make a difference. That's it. Thanks so much for watching this video. See you again next time.